What gel blaster should you buy? Now, before you go out and buy a gel blaster, there's a couple of things that you should know. Um, firstly, is that the quality control of these blasters, since they're made in China, isn't always the best. So you could get a blaster that's really good and it lasts a long time without touching it. But in most likely at some point, maybe it's after a few games, that something will break internally and you have to pull it apart to fix it. That's just an unfortunate part of the sport. Now simply just because of the nature of the ammo, because it is a soft gel bow and can walk unlike airsoft where it's an actual plastic BB and now much more consistent and can take a lot more force, there might be a bit of work that you have to do your blaster if you want to get the absolute best out of it to make it more consistent. Thirdly, there are a couple of essential items that you'll need if you want to get into the sport. Number one is eye protection. The absolute least is you go to Bunnings and get a pair of safety glasses. Um, which will, will give you a bit of cover from the top as well. They um, go wrap around your eyes really well. Or you can go for something a bit more serious and more comfortable like these, which is what I use um, on game days. I went out and spent the money on these because I also use them for airsoft over in New Zealand. Second important thing is to get a hop up for your blaster. Now hop up is something that puts backspin on the ball. Um, you can see it on the end of this. It's got a little thing at the top which you angle down. Um, which is gonna, the ball is gonna rub against it and again put backspin on it. That'll make it shoot much more accurate and give you further distance as well. This one here is the Riser R1 V2. I put these on all my blasters, so I've got one here as well. Um, I've used the plastic ones that you can buy and I find it's not as consistent as using a metal one. Now you can buy these hop ups from AliExpress or there's a few places in Australia. I'm in Adelaide personally, so I've just shopped around at different gel blaster stores to get mine. And third is gel balls. Now gel balls stock, the ones that come with the blaster are pretty bad. I, I wouldn't even use them for, for a game day. Milkies, which you can buy at pretty much any gel blaster store in Australia are uh, much stronger and can take a lot more force, especially um, when you put the hop up on the end and they, they need to be a bit stronger so they don't burst out of the end. And before we get into which blaster you should buy, you should also realise that this information is mainly for someone who that is actually wanting to get into the sport and play against other people. If you're just wanting to get a blaster and shoot targets in the backyard, most of this information doesn't apply to you and you can probably just go out and get whatever blaster you want because modifying and all that sort of stuff won't be that important. Now you're going out to buy a new blaster, the first situation that you might be in is that you don't want to pull it apart and you just want a blaster that's going to work straight out the box and you can go out and play. Now you can go and buy like a full metal blaster, there's a few new ones, but they can be in the $500 plus range. So it's a bit out of reach for the average person. So in that case, you want to go out and grab either the Jinming J10 ACR or the Jinming J9 M4A1. The reason that you want to go out and grab one of these is that they're in the sub $200 mark if you just keep a lookout for specials. Secondly, they are full nylon construction like this AUG that I've got here, which is very tough. Um, that would be pretty hard to break. Not as strong as metal, but it's definitely much better than the crappy ABS ones that you can get, so keep on the lookout for those. These two blasters will give you 240 FPS straight out of the box, which is pretty good. They will shoot, shoot roughly about 30 meters. Easily modified as well if you do plan in the future to pull it apart and make some changes and upgrade things. Also externally, you can add a lot of um, parts. So for example, this is actually a, uh, the J9 um, body, but I have made a lot of upgrades to this one, but you can see that I've added the scope, I've added a longer handguard here, so that's just an external mod that doesn't affect the actual shooting of the blaster, but yeah, there's lots of accessories for these. Now the second situation you might be in if you're going to, out to buy a new blaster is that you're actually buying it in planning to upgrade it and fix any issues that might arise with it. In this case, I think you can just go out and get whatever blaster that you think looks best and is of a solid construction, either metal or nylon. A good example of this is that my first blaster was the AUG. Um, it didn't come very good stock. Uh, for example, it was only shooting 140 FPS compared to the 240, which is stock on some other blasters. So I um, made the adjustments, for example, this the barrel actually sits too far forward and it wasn't getting a good seal. So I, I fixed that and that made a major difference. I've also upgraded the gearbox uh, majorly now. It's got metal gears, stronger spring, and it's shooting about 300, 310 now. So if you're prepared to put in the time and effort and learn, um, you can make them as good as as good as the best ones that you can buy. If you are keen to get into modifying, keep watching this channel as I'm gonna go through everything that I've learned um, individually and show you how to upgrade these blasters. So I've just jumped on my computer here just to show you where you can actually buy these blasters. I've got a couple of Australian stores. Um, here in Adelaide, we've got M4A1 and Tactical Edge. You can buy from other ones and they'll ship to you. 
Here is the Jinming ACR J10 and it's $220 from TAC Toys. I would be a bit wary about buying from TAC Toys unless I had a really good price because I have heard some bad things. Uh, on Renegade Blasters, it's $220. On M4A1, they're selling it for 200. So there you go, already it's $200 cheaper just from me looking from a few stores. And on Tactical Edge, they've got it for 220. So that just shows shop around so that you can find the best price for the, for the same product. Now I'd be wary about buying from overseas now because of the new import laws here in SA anyway. And they should be able to order individual parts from overseas. I've had no issues so far. You just have to wait a long time because they're coming from China rather than buying in Australia. But you can find them a lot cheaper. Now I've just gone to the hop-up section of M4A1 as well and you can see they've got a few different hop-ups here. Now. If you're not going to modify your blaster, just go for a hop-up that says it's for yours. So for example, this one's $25. It is a nylon one. A metal one would be better, especially if you're going for higher FPS, but this one will be fine for your stock blaster. And as you can see, it'll fit a Jinming J9 or J10. Now looking for gel balls, as you can see, they've got the Alf King Harden gel balls, which are for blasters with going for high fps where they need the extra stiffness in the ball they're about ten dollars if you're not going for a super high fps i would just get um, milkies which you can see there's fifty thousand for forty dollars here i've even seen them cheaper from other stores so have a look around but these will be great for decent fps blasters with a hop up and they'll hit a bit harder as well just because they're stronger than the ones that will come with your blaster thanks for watching i hope you've got a lot of information on what to do about blowing your first gel blaster if you've got any questions just comment down below and I'll, I'll get around to asking, answering as many as I can. Subscribe and stick around for my future videos where I'm going to go through in detail about modifying your blaster so you can get the absolute best out of it.